Hi, I'm Dave. This is Dave's Weird Project, and we are back with Into the Breach. We have finished the first two islands. We saved Dewey, we saved Jessica, and uh, as promised, we're going to jump right into the Volcanic Hive, the last stand. Once you beat two islands, the end final mission unlocks, and you can go do it, um, or you can continue on. But I, I promised that we would just try that out, see what it's like, so here we go. We've got three cores to spend. Um, basically, let's see, we could make him do four damage, which is pretty good. We could hit, bring him up to three, which is, uh, pretty good too. Uh, or her, Bethany, sorry. Uh, we could bring Archimedes up to three, which might be good. Um, I think having one, one real big one is probably the way to go. So, Ralph, you're gonna get these cores, and we're gonna make you do four damage. Fantastic. All right, we're going to jump right into the Volcanic Hive, the last stand. Let's see what's going down. With the Vec driven off the lands, you have a chance to swipe them out at their source. You are humanity's last hope. Thanks, Jessica. So we've got this kind of volcano landscape. We've got some, some stuff here. We've got some water. Where are the buildings? Where are the buildings that give us our power? What's going on? Oh, well, I don't know. Let's Let's just put the dudes down and see what happens. The Vec Hive was beneath the ocean floor. What else is buried down there? That's Archimedes' robot voice. Oh, we got some buildings. Deploying remote power pylons. They'll keep you doing something. Uh, here we got an environmental hazard here. These are going to fall in and turn into lava. So it's not good. Uh, lava makes you on fire. That's not a good thing. Unless we put the Vec in it. Then it's a great thing. Uh, this is a Firefly. He does. He's a bluish one the alpha they do more damage but apparently he's not attacking i don't know why he's not shooting at this but that's his choice and i respect it um so let's see we could uh we got a lot of different things we could. We could definitely take him out with a punch that's easy um yeah let's just let's just let's see we'll push hit you and knock you out of there to block a spawn punch you and artillery here to knock him down could we get to it where we actually hit him do we have plus one damage no so yeah knock him down is better since we can't uh, get rid of him okay four damage Two to him, plus he'll take one from blocking a spawn. So we're going to have four guys next turn. Oh, right. Archimedes has his move after. Fantastic. There's that lava. The status effect is Volcano. Now this one, little bombs are going to pop out of this... <laughs> This, uh, vol this big volcano back here and just crush anything on these spots. So that's also cool. Alright, so this guy doesn't really matter as long as we move. Uh, he's going to damage this, damage this, and uh, shoot that. So we got we got a lot we could do here. Um, let's see. Oh, an artillery shell right there would be fantastic, right? It would push this one over here onto this and it would push him into the lava. Um, can we get there we'd have to be here or here and it looks like because he's in the way so can we arrange things i don't think we can not without doing a bump into him and i don't really want to do that so that's okay um let's see he could easily take him out um artillery could most definitely knock him to the side or just back like he could shoot here and push him back and then move because he's Archimedes that, that's not terrible and then um, oh but then we've got this issue okay yeah so I think go here punch him uh, Archimedes artillery is him over to the side and then uh, just 
avoids this. And uh, cannon shoots this, so yeah, let's do that. Yeah, that looks good. Boink. 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 And this guy's like, what am I doing? We'll move Archimedes toward the center a little bit. There's those volcano bombs. And those spots are on fire now, so that's fun. Okay, this Scion is the worst. It does basically everything that all the other ones do. So check it out. Uh, the Scion Tyrant. Oh no, sorry, that's a different one. This one, uh, yeah, just damages all your units every turn. So if we can, we want to get rid of him ASAP. Um... That's what this little tentacle icon is here. So let's see. Uh, this matters. This kind of matters. Yeah. Uh, this matters. This doesn't matter. So what do we want to do? Uh, Punch Boy could definitely take him out. We want you out of the way uh, and there's nothing saying you can't take it damage you do have that shield so if he went here and shot him once to the side this building would get hit but this one wouldn't because we'd have we'd have altered his path he'd take two damage from the shot and one damage from fire um, with him out of the way, uh, we can punch this and get rid of it. We take one damage, but block a spawn. And then we really just have to worry about this fly, which we could probably go here. Oh no, if we do that, we're gonna bump into the building, which isn't great. Ooh, we could come down here. We could go, yeah, sure. We could do this, push him down, and he would do a damage to him. That'd be good. Okay. Uh, yeah, we, we might take a little building damage. We might not. Our grid defense is pretty good. Okay. So... Took care of that. Okay. So, we got a building risk here. She's going to lose her shield, which is okay. That's what it's for. And uh, he'll take a fire, block a spawn, yeah. Oh yeah, Archimedes can move again. Uh, let's go there. Control the center. There's our fire damage, There's lava coming in. Damage there, haha. -ha. Lost that shield. Okay, lost the power. Oh, lost two of them. That's not great. Okay, so here's fun. This thing's going to get nailed uh, by the bomb, so we don't have to worry about him. Um, let's see. Who's... It's this guy doing the thing. So, we could punch him into the lava to deal with him. Uh, this guy... Whatevs. These guys, we could... Uh, artillery shell there, which pushes them back. This is the last turn um, before victory, maybe? And, uh, yeah. Okay, so let's go. Alright, and then... Let's see, if I do this, we'll take one damage, but we get rid of this. Uh, I think that's okay. I mean, he's just gonna... He's just done, right? The thing's going to hit him before environment goes before enemy actions. If we just stay there, we just do that. <clears throat> that out of the way. There we go. No buildings in danger. Archimedes can move again. Okay. And then he's... 
swipe at nothing, and we win, right? Right? Guys? Oh no! Sending down power pylons. Keep them operational. We don't have any more. This hive, it's too big for us to take out by ourselves. Deploying a Renfield bomb. Defend it while it primes and it will destroy the hive. There we go. There's our Renfield bomb. It eats bugs. Uh, okay, so we got to deal with this. Here's one of our bosses. Remember the bosses from before? Uh, but the cool part about this one is he's right there. We can just take him out with... Uh, environmental business uh so let's see there's that this oh shoot he is going to damage the renfield bomb that's not good um i think what we could do let's see if we put an artillery shell here he'll go there and not damage and he'll get pushed onto the thing so that the uh the environment gets him so that's a two for one let's go for it hang on not do anything yet uh a punch here kills this and does a damage to this and then a punt and then a shot here will finish this off. Yeah, great. Okay. Three coming in. He's gonna be dead. So three coming in plus one left. We can handle that. Control the center. Haha. <laughs> Okay, got another, we got a chunky firefly. These guys are uh, interesting. Um, they basically put rocks wherever the, the is next to them that's empty, and <laughs> and then they will hit all around. Um, so, what are we gonna do about that? Let's see. Scratch the nose. We're gonna mess up the mic. There we go. This matters, this matters, this matters, this matters, it all matters. Okay. Who's going first? The environment, of course, and then this one, this one, this one, and this one. I'm holding down Alt, by the way, to bring these up. So, cannon on him looks pretty good. Because that takes him out. Definitely want to deal with him. He does three. Okay. We might have to let this go. So if we go here, punch down. We use artillery to move into the side. Oh, this environment is, um, well, you'll see. <laughs> um, cannon on him, punch down, move him to the side, take our chances here. old grabbies and it makes whatever so it kills whatever's there and leaves all behind thank you grid defense i love you okay so our next environment is these squares falling rock a rock will fall here killing any unit that is a great time to take this out um Yeah, let's see. Uh, we got some business down here, too. Lots of stuff going on. You basically don't matter if we get out of the way. Okay. So, 
if we punch pushes him into here and then he'll get finished off by the rocks then we could go here artillery shell to move him to the side and save this building uh, and move him down to get taken out by the rocks and then Archimedes because he can move again we could get out of the way cannon shell we can't completely get him so we we it basically would take care of this okay we got enough health left there we go it is and the environment kills him before he gets to go Shmoosh. Mm, hate to see it. All right. Victory in one turn. So all we got to do is live and protect this. So this guy doesn't matter. This guy doesn't matter. We're getting out of the way. So it's really just this little bomb thing. He spits these out, it's annoying. And this guy here. So let's just do that. And then we'll just give a big old bye bye to you. And Archimedes. Okay, here we go. Grabbed him. Oh, I missed that. I thought he was shooting there. <laughs> oh, well. The Renfield bomb is ready. I recommend you leave now or you'll share a grave with the Vec. My work here is at an end, yet the journey continues. Come on, Riftwalkers. We've got other timelines to save. Farewell, Riftwalkers. I won't forget you. I've been here for about two minutes. Boom. Victory. Beat the game any length. And the earth extrudes a tiny little shard of damage. Victory! Thanks to the valiant efforts of Ralph Carlson, Bethany Jones, and Archimedes, the Vec Hive has been destroyed, saving this timeline from ultimate doom. Humanity can now begin to recover from the destruction wrought by the Vec. Island civilian lives protected, 9,586. Total Earth lives saved, approximately 4.6 billion. Press any key to continue. So, we get to watch the credits from the amazing Subget Set games. These guys are fantastic. Um, if you have not played FTL, I highly recommend that too. I might do a series on that. Uh, maybe after I feel like I've exposed you enough to Into the Breach, you might do that. Um, these guys are great. They just they make these awesome little games that are so full of depth and replayability and character and uh but they're not the giant triple a budgets they're just they're 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 really fantastic I, I can't say enough good things about them all these people are amazing get this game beat it so you can read all the credits i'm gonna save you that timeline saved select one pilot to continue the fight in your next timeline so we basically just take one person and uh, use them next time. So I love Archimedes. He's he's probably my favorite, so I'll go ahead and grab him. Um, and let's take a look at what's going on. We we could still play the Riftwalkers, sure. Um, we've got these time travelers unlocked. Look at all these others. Wow, there's a lot to find. And we can also look at our squad. We have six coins. Six coins. How do we get those? Let's take a look. Uh, we did specific things for the Riftwalkers. Drown three enemies in water in a single battle. Complete the first corporate island. Kill an enemy five or more tiles away with a dash punch. So if we had pulled this off, we would have got another coin. We also got some general achievements. Beat the game on any length. Earn nine reputation for missions on a single island. Do not fail any objective on a single island. Have a pilot reach maximum level. 
there are a lot of other ones too. This is how you get the coins to unlock the other squads, is by getting achievements specific to squads and just in general. So there's a lot to work with here. Um, I'm not going to go too deep into these right now, but we've got six, so we could start unlocking other guys. And uh, the Rusting Hulks, RST Weather Manipulators, allow these mechs to take advantage of smoke storms everywhere. We've got the Zenith Guard, Detritus Beam Technology, and Pinnacle Shield Technology. Create a, pinnacle, a powerful combination. Blitzkrieg. RST engineers designed this squad around the mass destruction capabilities of Harnessed Lightning. Steel Judoka. These mechs specialize in positional manipulation to turn the Vec against each other. Flame Behemoth. Invincible to flames, these mechs aim to burn any threat to ashes. Frozen Titans. These Titans rely on the Cryo Launcher, a powerful weapon that takes an experienced pilot to master. And the Hazardous Mechs. These mechs have spectacular damage output, but rely on nanobots feeding off dead vec to stay alive. So, uh, yeah, let's just get a couple of squads here. The Resting Hulks are fun. They have what I consider to be the best mech in the game, which is this guy with the rocket. Um, the best, maybe damaging mech in the game uh we've got five left how do we have five left did i oh i got one for buying a squad <laughs> okay um and let's let's get a five i'm gonna i'm just gonna spoil a little and say that the flame behemoths are super fun so i'm gonna get them okay this guy is the best i think science mech in the game um, so let's go back and we're going to start another run. We've got, uh, we got about 10 minutes left on this episode. We can get us, uh, we can get another run started. So let's change squad. Let's, uh, let's go with the Rusting Hulks. Let's check them out. Um, I like putting Archimedes on either the rocket mech or the pulse mech. So the jet mech jumps over a guy, does one damage to him and puts down a smoke. The pulse mech basically pushes everything away that is next to him. Uh, the rocket mech shoots a rocket that does two damage, pushes the thing, whatever it hits, directly away, and puts a smoke behind him. Now, we've got these two smoke things. I wonder what that's about. Well, we've got this passive effect. All smoke deals damage to enemy units every turn. So when we put smoke on guys, we're also going to damage them. We cancel their attack, because that's what smoke does, and we damage them. So this is a pretty powerful combo. Oh, also, once you've unlocked some squads, you can change their colors. Um, I like the red ones uh, when I'm doing custom squads, but if I'm just running a group that's together, I generally keep their colors. Just me. All right, let's check it out. Okay. Okay. No sign of Pinnacle Island Network here, either. He wants to find his super AI people. This is Pinnacle Robotics, where the AIs live. Uh, but I, I, I think uh, it's a little too primitive for him. So, we can do any of these. Still can't do this one because we haven't beaten Pinnacle. So, let's just go for Pinnacle. Why not? On behalf of Pinnacle, I welcome you. The climate on our island isn't ideal for humans, but the low temperatures are vital for machine life to thrive. This is an AI. It's not real. Don't taunt it. Okay. Um, so what do we got? This is a snowy place. We got kill at least seven enemies, protect the coal plant. We've got end battle with less than mech, four mech damage and protect the power generator. And we've got defend the robot factories. <laughs> this one is a little nutty, but it also gives us the most stars. So uh, let's do it. Uh, these factories are manufacturing hostile machines, but there are hundreds of innocent lives within. Please defend them while we try to shut them down safely. So <laughs> these factories are going to spit out little robots that are trying to kill us. But we have to keep the factories safe. Um, we've also got a health booster. This is a new kind of guy we haven't seen yet. This is a leaper. They jump 
four. And they do, um, I think they do webbing. Yeah, they do the webbing uh, to make you move. They generally are low health. Uh, they're fairly easy to kill. Okay, so let us, uh, we'll put our jet here. He's flying so the water doesn't bother him at all. We'll put our artillery in the back and we'll put our pushy science dude uh, back here. Okay, so he spit out this little thing. Now, it's not doing anything now. It just has one health. But at the end of the turn, it's going to wake up, and that sucks. Okay, so let's see. What could we do? He can go here and push this to the side. That's a good thing. Keep him from damaging this building. He could go here and jump over and just take this out. He'll do one damage to it. And then the smoke that's on him will also do a damage. Um, and that's a good thing. And then he could come here and just nail this because it does two damage. Yeah. So they'll lose their bonus health anyway. So let's take care of that. And then he just died. All right. We're off to a good start. Uh-oh. <laughs> the little robot jerk woke up. Okay. So this doesn't look good. But he can just get himself out of this by pushing. So I'm totally fine with that. Uh, oh, man. We're actually, this is kind of rough. He's way down here. This is why controlling the center is so important. Um... Because the only one that has any shot of doing anything to this is this guy. Luckily, we actually have a nice solution here. We can shoot him. And you can see that it will put... If you if watch when I hold over here, you can see the little smoke icon over the Hornet. That's because it's going to put the smoke there, which will cancel his attack. So he can, under the right circumstances, deal with two threats at once, which is fantastic. So I think that's probably the way to go here. Um, he will push, and then the jet could come here, jump over, and take him out. Um, we could also have it go here and take this out, which might be a better use of damage, since it would be effectively two damage dealt over the turn. Let's do that. So take that out. Um, the little robots, it's okay if we kill them. We just have to protect the factories. There are other missions on this island where it might say to keep certain robots safe. Uh, but they aren't jerks that are trying to kill you, so that's fine. Okay, so he's safe. And... Yeah, I think I'm going to stick with the idea of getting him with the smoke. So there you can see that smoke damage. Killed him there. Okay. Alright. Another complex turn. He could just get the heck out of the way. He could also push this into the smoke. The smoke would kill it before it can block the spawn. So that's... A little non-optimal, but, uh, you know, I could take it. So let's assume we're going to do that. He can jump this and get rid of it. And uh, that leaves our artillery guy to kind of do whatever we want him to do. So I think probably if we shot here, it would kill this and do a bump damage to this. We could also just take one of these out. I kind of like, just for style points, I kind of like damaging him and him. So, let's go there. The smoke does not damage us. It only damages enemies, so I don't need to worry about that. And we'll do the little bump and tickle there. And get rid of you. 
Archimedes does not have the power to do his move again thing yet. And that's okay. This one's fun. It uh, it does an artillery shot that hits three squares. Um, so that's cool. <laughs> and again, they're, they're focusing more on us. So as long as we get out of the way, we're going to be all right. Um, he could get an actual kill, which would be great for his experience if we push into there. Um, yeah. Artill uh, Archimedes can easily take this out. And we can take one of these out. And this is the last turn. The factories are all undamaged. There we go. So one hornet gets away. Ah well. Achievement. Perfect battle. No mech damage, no building damage. Defend the robot factories. I've broken through their firewall and safely disengaged the factories from the power grid. They will no longer pose a threat. Cool. Thank you, robot. AI friend, I hope. All right. So that's a little over 30 minutes. That was great. Uh, we finished one timeline successfully. Got another one started. Got some new squads. Uh, hopefully this is uh, interesting for you guys. And we're going to keep going next time. Probably head to this one since it's got the two stars. Break five buildings out of the ice. Uh, we'll talk about that when we, when we get there. I think, uh, I think it's an interesting one. And so, cool. Until next time, take care, everybody.